So it's nice to see you again, Mimi. You've gone out as well with Lucky, who's with the female engagement teams. And how is that part of the operation uh, unfolding? I went on a patrol of the village of Naray, right across the Kunar River from Bostic. We, again, as I said, we go with uh, 16 guys and four trucks. We drove out in a convoy of four cars, uh, just actually down the road. I mean, it was sort of, you know, in your mind, you think, gosh, shouldn't we be walking? You know, it's so close. But you need the trucks because they provide support fire if you come under attack. So we got into the village and she proceeded to have a meeting of all men. She was trying to convince these local leaders to let her get a project going for the widows. Not just um, I give them money, but a sustainable job so they can provide for their families um, for wait, years to wait. come. And that's actually one of the challenges I think that Lieutenant Lucky faces. There's no female for her to work with. She's always working with men. And in Afghanistan, you're, you're valued by two things. One, your gender, and two, your age. We talk about building a sustainable job. We went through a, an intense several hours of negotiating to get security for us to go to the girls' school. And the Afghan National Police Commander was extremely concerned. He wanted us to ride in his trucks with his people. And Lieutenant Lucky went out of the room and she was liaisoning with her security and her security said, you know, absolutely not. And she turned to me and she said, you know, basically it's better if we walk on foot and then if something happens, we're just going to storm into a house and take it over. It's raining, you know, this cold road. We approach the village and you basically, the, the kind of the worst part is you have to cross this bridge. And on the bridge, there's absolutely no cover. We're not covered by the trucks. So we get to this girls' school. Okay. Uh, only the female and the male can stay outside. And, you know, with the helmet and the hair, they, they wear their hair pulled back so tightly and they have the glasses. And, and, you know, I mean, these women are all carrying M4 rifles. You know, they look intimidating. They look fierce. The engagement that we did that day was pretty limited. She, she Lucky ended up handing out pens and backpacks and she was sort of ferried around from classroom to classroom without any real meaningful uh, dialogue with the girls. Can you tell them to share so hard? We did go into one room though where the girls were learning English and one of the girls got up and she read uh, a couple words on the chalkboard. Oh. And Lieutenant Lucky English. was so impressed. She, she brought that up several times to me. She just couldn't believe it. They're learning English. Like I know five words of Pashto and you're learning English and can speak to me in English. It was amazing. You're doing great work here. And then at the end, the principal said, look, you know, these Backpacks and pens are fine and well, but what we really need is someone to come here and fix the well. The most important is uh, the water is the main thing to focus on. They want a well. They need a well to get some. Meanwhile, while this is going on, she's getting radioed that we need to hurry up and get out of there. What do you mean? So we got to be fast. There's a bad guy outside the gate. Because. Um, there was a huge crowd amassing now outside the school doors and uh, they had identified one Taliban um, and then about 10 minutes later they identified two and then uh, by the last count there were four. Beyond our own safety, which which Lucky is always taking into her mind that she deals with every day is the, the safety of the girls. Those girls who talk to us stay there in that village. I'm here to help them so I really have to weigh the risk to the benefit. And I have to protect their culture too. That's why we go so slow. Is what I'm doing, is it really helping them or am I hurting them? And that's really what I have to live with every day.